Brad Nessler. And joining me, as always, is Dick Vitale. This should be a good one between the Wyoming Cowboys and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. We've got a really interesting matchup here tonight at the shooting guard position. Number one, the guy that really shoots the basketball. He's got a great stroke. On the other side, we have a kid that likes to lead by example. He's the heart of this team. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. The Cowboys are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. First, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Next, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket. Grab the glass. Get after the boards. Lastly, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The small forward receives the ball. He drains the shot. It's a fast break possibility. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block for the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. The center receives the pass. Goes up for two. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks could cure. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Off the rim and no good. Gonna move it around the perimeter. From right at the circle, he nails the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. They're working around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Number 32 handles the feed. Cross court. knocked loose but the offense got it back and the ball goes out of bounds oh the cheerleaders into it big time for their team they are really involved I'll tell you one thing they bring a lot of spirit he keeps the dribble as they reset up and inside 
Working it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. He dials long distance. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. And a momentary look from three-point land. The ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to. And has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. He'll regroup the offense. Tries for two. Wyoming are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He's money with the shot. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. The defense senses a five-second call. Strips the ball. Here we go on the break. Trying to draw some contact. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. The Cowboys go to the line for the first time in this game. He makes the first. Rims off. Front work to me, that's all rebounding is. Get your body between the hoop and your man and block out. Trying to pack it inside. The skip pass is picked off. Both teams looking to get things going here. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number one. They're going to give him the basket and the foul. That's huge. And one for the senior, baby. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Hits that one. They'll bring it up. Stolen ball on the dribble, gives it up. Coming inside. Inside. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. He uses the shot fake. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. For two. Dick, if you ask me, they're not getting a whole lot of open looks tonight. They're not moving the ball the way they were taught, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. He's got an open look for the shot. Way off target. The point guard handles the pass. Number one with the foul. First personal foul. On the outside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Oh, what a strip, Red. They push it up on the break. And they get the turnover. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. the low block up fake turn around jumper and off the mark they say forget about it and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries a three. Off the rim and no good. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Puts it on the floor and up and under. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. Gave it up. Tries for two. And in and out. going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charge. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Let's it go. They're getting no good looks at the hoop tonight, Dick. I don't know what they're doing, but they're squandering away. All those easy looks underneath. There's the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Working it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Looking for a good shot. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job at a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. the other way get a layup number one scores it and he's fouled so and one opportunity here that's a great play what a play demonstrating unbelievable skills now look at him he's celebrating with the cheerleaders hey he's dancing baby a dancer i never knew that i'm surprised he sinks it Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's <laughs> pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Number one is fired up and ready to go. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's the screen up on top. Puts it up, looking for contact. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Thinks about the shot. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Oklahoma State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Brad and Dick, not too many differences between these two players. Seems as though they're almost canceling each other out on the floor. This now could come down to which team is stronger. Thanks, Aaron. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. He goes for three, way off target. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. They're working around the arc. High post screen. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Looks at the three. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Launches the three. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. And I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. We'll take the shot. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get in the flow. They work it around the perimeter. Unloads. Way off target. He shoots from the top of the circle. He rips it from downtown. Number double zero picks up the foul. Second team foul. expression he says me that spin move not successful Dick I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us Aaron well guys the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead if things don't change in a hurry this game could get ugly guys Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish close play because that gives you inside outside action. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. three-point land he's got the post flashing if he wants it outside jumper cleans the glass once you get that board you gotta be looking up for it overplays on the pass and he didn't get the steal oh he's humiliated poor job defensively they'd like to get it inside to the low block Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 32 with the steal. With a deep pass. 
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He gets the rejection. The ball goes out of bounds. Jumps into the defender. And he scores despite the hack. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. The defense is really commanding the tempo. Hey, they're keeping him out of sync. From the top of the circle. Can't put it down. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Kicks it out. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Another brick, baby. Building a new arena. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Okay. Got a nice screen. He gets that one to fall. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Oh, that's spacing. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. I have to see that one again. Gets it back out. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. From downtown, off the rim and no good. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Tries to turn the defense and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the outside, there's the pick. Number one draws the personal. Check it out, Mr. Vitell. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. Number two makes his first appearance. I tell you, this youngster can provide a spark on either side of the floor, Brad. Again, a little one-man backcourt pressure. Working it around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. For two, in and out. Shot clock is dead. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He launches the bomb way off target. Time, the Cowboys are ahead by two. Dick, what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair? I think the kind of highlight that only a coach can love, Brad. His team working the ball down low to their big man for the inside basket. The teams are just about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's see how this one unfolds. Oklahoma State has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them having a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. 
Dick in the second half our player matchup update and uh, they're playing very very even right now and they're not making mistakes. Well they're really doing a great job both guys getting good shots really making them count and really their teammates are getting them the ball at the right time. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. He pops it from way downtown. Pump thinks. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. There's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And he'll kick it back outside from the top of the key. Awesome job of running his guy in for the screen to get off that jam. From way outside. Bounces off. Leans in. And he scores it off the glass. Point territory. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. He'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He waited for the screen and dropped in a nice inside hoop. On the dribble, gives it up on the inside. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call though by the official. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. And the ball goes out of play. Moves not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dump it inside. Let's it fly. Buried it. Looking for a good shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. They're working around the arc. In the post. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. to three sinks the shot oh, that one there should have been a foul call I think well you take a look right there I thought there was contact right on the defensive player I tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Fakes the shot. Turnaround jumper. He's got to pass those off, Dick. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. And a chance for a three-point play. 
the old-fashioned way, as we say. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. He goes to the line for the first time. He gets it to go. That's a nine-zip run. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. in the paint. He puts it in with contact and all. Goes up for two. They still don't score. They work the perimeter. Tries to get the D to bite. Puts it up. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Gave it up. Steals a pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Fakes a jumper. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble. Gives it up. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from the top of the key. The Cowboys have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Picked out of the air. For two. Got it. They scored eight in a row. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. On the inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He drains the bucket. The Cowboys are trailing by six. And a momentary look from three-point land. The Cowboys have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Number 20 is charged with the foul. Second team foul. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Great defense. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. For the bucket and off the mark. And the ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. They're working around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. Questionable shot selection there. That shot was definitely ill-advised. He strips him clean. He 
Here they come now on a turnover. Goes up for two. Wyoming have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Gave it up. He intercepts it. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. He intercepts it. Easy bucket coming here. Number one is pounded on his way up. Now check him out. Who would have thought with the cheerleaders? Come on. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. He'll go to the line. He gets it to go. Oh, screeners seeing stars after that screen. He shoots from the top of the circle. Poor decision there to shoot that three. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Tries for two. He buries the shot. That's nine unanswered. When I hear Big 12 basketball, I think tough defense. Half court, pound the ball inside offense. Hey, team. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, it's a matter of one guy focusing and taking advantage of shot opportunities. He seems to be making the most of it tonight. All right, thanks, Aaron. That's a 10 nothing run. He makes it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Makes the shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. See if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It? it wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Defense has really stepped up. They take it over the tempo very nicely. For two. Oklahoma State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. Tries a three. Oh, yes. Spacing. Number one with the fake. Gave it up. Gets the rejection. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. You betcha. The Cowboys are behind by seven. For the bucket, perfectly executed.
He looks for the bomb. Makes it. The Cowboys are down by eight. Now they work it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc. Looking for the open jumper. Great play to take that to the basket. Defense giving some room. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That one's off. Good job defensively. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He launches a three, way off target. Oklahoma State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to click on offense. Dumps it in. Picked off. Look the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Finger roll. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Takes away the pass. Side. Jumped in front to take it away. They'll work it around the arc. They work the perimeter. He lets it fly. He drains the shot. I'll tell you what, with a score, this crowd is going to go nuts, Dick. Picked out of the air. The Cowboys still have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He steps up to the line. Gets the first shot. is the second shot. Intercepted. Coming inside. High post flashes for the ball handler. He goes for three. Off the rim and no good. Steals the pass. Got a high post flasher. The center gets the ball. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Gave it up. Up and inside. The center takes the pass. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. High post screen, so effective that screen. 
Wyoming are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Working it around the perimeter. The point guard takes the feed. There's the trap. He pulls the trigger. It won't fall. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I took a chance. He gets the bucket to drop and gets the foul. He felt the pressure on the way up, but managed to keep himself focused on the rim. He has one shot. Up and in. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. For the deuce. Can't get the shot to drop. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. Rims out. Outside for two, he's money with a shot. And a momentary look from three point land. Here's a double team. He shoots from long range. He seems determined to take the tough shot. And then I'm falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. On the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. The small forward receives the ball off the rim and no good. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He tries the three. Rims out. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Back to the live action we go. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Timeout's called on the floor. This is where the true players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. and change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. High post screen, going to use it. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Comes up empty. They're working around the perimeter. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. The power forward gets the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Yeah. 
This is the big time. Misses from long range. Overtime. These kids must be exhausted, Dick. Yeah, Brad. But this is why you do the suicides, the line drills, and the wind sprints. Have to practice all summer and fall to get ready for something like this. At the end of the second half, it's a dead heat. These teams are going into overtime. As we begin overtime, Brad, I knew this was going to be a barn burner. He attempts a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. The center with the ball goes up for two. the perimeter takes the pass in the paint tries for two two with a lay-in for the bucket I tell you once you get deep position like that it's automatic Move the ball. Picks off the pass. Great anticipation. That's great court savvy to get in the way of that pass. For the deuce. They still don't score. The shooting guard receives the pass. Great screen set up, but the shot will go. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. He gets the rejection. The point guard handles the feed. He launches a three. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. And he'll kick it back outside. Takes it off him. For two. He gets the shot to fall. Cue up the replay, fellas. Gave it up. He takes the three. Great shot. Looking for a good shot. That spin move's not going to work against a defense uh, like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting both teams. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Grant. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes the outside jumper, brings the shot. He launches the bomb. He comes up empty. He attempts the trifecta. He gets it to fall. Timeout on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us again? 
Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. I think she's right about that, Richie. Let's get ready to resume the action. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And he'll kick it back outside. Let's it fly. The shot won't fall. Great defense. Up and inside. He takes the shot off the baseline. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He intercepts it. Up and inside. He tries the three ball. They're having a rough time getting them to drop, Brad. They should take it to the basket and get some easy hoops. So now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. visit the charity strike makes the front end of the one and one no problem so far at the free throw line tonight Dick well they're making the most of the free ones gets his second if they want a chance to win they really need a bucket here Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. He looks for the bomb. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Hits the second shot. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. the most out of that timeout, Dick. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for three. He shows the sweet touch. Dick, we're taking a look back now. We've watched this marquee matchup throughout the ballgame. How do you think it's played out? Yeah, we really are. you got to play as a unit. It's all about the team. That's what gets you to the winner's circle. Oklahoma State needed overtime to pull this one out. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.